Around two years ago, I started preparing my AP portfolio. I had a good idea of what concepts I could do and was really excited to work on these pieces. I spent months working day and night and ended with a series of works that I will be proud of for years to come. But now that a lot of time has passed since I got my grade, I would really love to revisit the portfolio and judge the pieces after I've learned a lot from my first year of college. Hey hey, it's Jester. As you heard, I'm going to rank my AP portfolio pieces using possibly the most iconic tier list. There are some pieces that are my babies, and there are some that I'd like to completely redo. First, I should introduce my portfolio concept. In my portfolio, I exploit Haiti's old but culturally prevalent religion voodoo. Growing up, Haitian meant hearing bits and pieces about these figures, but they were mostly in the shadows for me. The main objective of this series is that I wanted to paint these figures and voodoo as a whole in a more friendly, casual light. Voodoo mythology tends to be painted as demonic in a lot of popular media, which stems from colonization and the demonizing of many black and indigenous practices. However, this is not a video essay talking about the effects of colonization. This is an 18 year old's retrospective on a bunch of art they passionately made about their culture. That I will judge harshly. So let's look at the first piece. S tier immediately. This piece is my baby. I love the way this piece looks. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. There are definitely little bits and pieces that I could work on, but overall, great piece. This is a B tier. The placement of the trees in the background, just the background in general could have been a lot better and I could have done the lights and darks a lot better as well. Overall though, this is a really great piece, which is why it's more higher than lower on the tier list. It's definitely one of my favorite graphite pieces. So, yeah. This is a A tier. I feel like this is a strong piece as well. I do think the posing could have been a bit more fierce and her costuming could fit her as a voodoo spirit a lot better. However, I do think this is a solid piece regardless. I decided to put him in C tier because I think I could have done the composition a lot better. It would have been really powerful, so much more powerful, if I had an army behind him, like he's like rowling troops, but it's just him standalone. I feel like it loses a bit of that impact, but this is a pretty solid piece as well. It's just not one of my more favorite pieces that I've made, like graphite pieces that I've made. But I did step out of my comfort zone and draw a horse, so I'm pretty proud of myself for that. This is a D tier. This piece overall has a lot of work. I used watercolor. I've never really used watercolor in such a bigger scale like this. And so I definitely missed the mark on quality, I think. It's a good piece. It could just, it could be better. And I know that I can make it better if I ever decide to redo this. Um, also, the dog looks kind of weird <laughs> and I could have done a bit more with the background. So I would love to revisit this and just fix that. This is an A tier. I love how dead the face looks because it's supposed to be. And I just, I love the expression of the bigger lady at the top. I think the piece as a whole, it needs to like move over a bit for whatever reason. It's like very off center on the page. But other than that, it's an A tier. This piece 
is a D tier. I think I really like the hand and how it holds the cards, but everything else I'm not too much of a fan of. It's supposed to tell a story. I will not get into it now, but it is supposed to tell a story, and I feel like I kind of missed the mark with that as well. But it's not an F tier, so that's great. <laughs> I don't think I ever gave it a proper name, but this one is an F tier, unfortunately. This was supposed to be reminiscent of a certain art style that is very popular in Haiti. I believe it's called like the naive art style where it uses big, bold shapes and colors. And I feel like I didn't get that all the way. Like it uses not simplistic shapes, but it uses shapes and color to tell a story or to just show the environment in a way that's very pleasing to the eye and you don't really have to dig through too much is the best way I can explain it. But I feel like I, with the colors, like I like the composition, but with the colors and the way that I applied all this, I don't really like it. I think I missed the mark on this as well. So for me personally, it has to be an F tier. I would love to redo this and really just study the way the art style works and better translate it into this piece. This is supposed to talk about um, the synchronization of voodoo spirits and Catholic saints. It's a very interesting concept. So this is supposed to be very reminiscent of a Catholic stained glass piece. I love this piece so much. I feel like I don't post it everywhere because it is a wee bit sacrilegious. And I would like to not get that kind of attention but this is one of my favorite pieces. I love a border. I love stained glass. It's absolutely gorgeous. So this is an S tier. I'm not sure if I said that in the beginning, but this is an S tier. Like this is great. Love this piece dearly. This was supposed to be like cool finale and at the time I really loved this piece and I love the work I put into it but I'm looking at it now I feel like I should have gone for a different composition and really make the vibes a bit more mysterious because this is a very mysterious ceremony I think there's only a couple of sources talking about it this is the ceremony that unites everyone and gives everyone enough morale to overthrow the French enslavers and just get the French out of Haiti and make Haiti the first black country that is free, the first black republic. And I feel like a different composition and maybe more people, like more numbers to show how powerful this was would have worked a lot better but it's a C tier for me personally. So yeah. This was a silly little assignment where you put a animal head on top of a Victorian portrait. I freehanded a lot of this based off of a reference of a Victorian portrait. I think the only thing I didn't really freehand was the hands themselves. Um, the hand that's like holding something, but everything else was pretty much freehanded. I really like this piece. It's a fun little piece. It's a B tier though, because this is based off of a different piece, but it's a cool piece, so I like it. Th 
this is a this is a piece where everything in it is supposed to be based off the letter J. You know, his name's Jacques. He's a jackal that is juggling gems. No, jewels. That is juggling jewels. And he's a jester. It's a whole thing. I really like it. It's an A tier for me because of how fun it is. I would love to revisit this piece and do something fun with it as well. It's just, it's one of my favorite graphite pieces. It's the piece that introduced me to graphite and just how fun it was, so, yeah. I like this piece. However, it's a B tier, um, which isn't bad. It's a B tier because it, she's kind of just there. It's a it's a portrait piece, but I do like the cross hatching and the way that the face looks, especially. I just like the little details that are on this piece. I like the way the fruit look. That's it. It's just it's a good piece. It's pretty solid. It's a B tier. I love this piece dearly. This was when I really got into like Art Nouveau and borders and how great that stuff looked. This was supposed to be a pretty woman being a pretty woman. That's the kind of piece this was and it's an S tier. I love this piece dearly. I would love to go back and redo aspects of this with now that I have like a better understanding of form and faces and composition. But other than that, this is a great piece. So this is the final tier list. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you agreed or disagreed on the placements, definitely comment that down below. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, do the thing. I don't know. I you do do what you want. <laughs> but that is all for today. I hope to see you next Sunday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I think that's where I am. Have a good day. Bye-bye.